Hey guys, since we just implemented our new mechanic script called Tiger Mechanic System, I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how to create a shop. Before we begin a few things to go over, make sure you head over to the config file of the mechanic system and learn the commands and keybinds for the script to better help you follow this tutorial. Once we confirm the commands and keybinds, let's go over the starting grades or ranks for our created shop. Just follow what I have in the screenshot and remember to always make the last grade have the is boss Omalarn true as the only one. Now that we got that out the way, let's continue with the rest of the video. Okay, so now let's bring up the admin menu by pressing F10 or typing admin mech in our chat. Now we have the mechanic system menu for admins. Here we can view all the shops created in our server. We also have the ability to create our own shops, which we'll be doing today. Once we get to the mechanic shop creation, you'll need to fill our everything on this screen. The shop name is the name of the shop. The job name is the code for the job. Note, this must be done in lowercase, otherwise it won't work. Next is the job label, which is the name that pops up on the HUD as you'll be seeing. Finally is the amount of money you want that particular shop to start with. If you guys want, you can disable the blip. Once finished, hit confirm. After we create the shop, let's head over to View Mechanic Shops and select the shop we just created. Here we're going to select Set Boss and make ourselves the boss to make things easier in the setup process. Now let's begin setting up the markers in the shop. First we're going to place the duty marker. Once we reach our desired location to place the toggle duty on or off marker, we'll bring up our admin menu. Then we'll click on View Mechanic Shops. Then select our shop and then click on Marker Management and choose the corresponding marker. Then click on Create Duty Marker. Here we can choose the type of marker to display along with the, the color of the marker. However, for the sake of the video, I'll be leaving everything as if. Now at the bottom I will check the bob up and down to give it a more lively feel to it. Then we hit confirm and now we can see the marker and the option to press E, but we'll do that later. For now, let's focus on the next marker. Then next we're going to do the repair marker. Same as the duty marker, we modify everything according to our needs and then hit continue. I'll be speeding up the video until we reach the boss menu since it's pretty much rinse and repeat. I will also showcase the markers in action if needed pause the video. Now once we create the boss marker, we gain access to the boss menu where we can hire, fire, demote and promote employees. To demote and promote, click on the promote employee option. Now let's click on account so we may manage our funds. Here we can withdraw and deposit money into our account from the money with have cash. Now let's head outside and place the garage marker. Keep in mind, owners of the shops will have to buy their own vehicles in order to save them in the garage and for the employees to use. And we have reached the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and if you need an in-depth guide to how to use the mechanic menu, then just let me know so I can get a video ready for you guys. Thanks again, and until next time.